it's time to clean out the garage and I can't use my gas blower because it sets off the smoke detector and the corded blower is fine but thanks to the Home Depot seeds program I now have a Ryobi 40 volt cordless backpack with handheld blower kit will it make a difference the unit includes a brushless motor it has a clearing power of 730 cubic feet per minute, which is supposedly 60% more powerful than who knows what. It has a runtime that's 50% more, more than who knows what. It does come with two 6 amp hour batteries and a charger. And the cool thing about this battery pack is that it'll hold three batteries, although you only get two with this kit. And then you have an umbilical cord to run your device. In this case, there's a little box that attaches to it and the battery pack will power the device. What does that get you? Not more power, just gets you more runtime because it'll cycle through each of the batteries that are in there until you turn this off. Or you could just take one of the batteries and plug it in here and just run this unit independent of the battery pack. Let's take a look inside the box. With the box open, we get a poster that'll show you all the 40 volt devices that they have, a manual for the leaf blower, a manual for the charger, and what this charger is, it's a smart charger. It plugs into the backpack and then just charges whatever batteries are in there. So you don't have to sit there and cycle each of the batteries through. Then we have a manual for the backpack. We have a little spec sheet that tells you what batteries are compatible with what devices. And of course, they want you to do a review. I don't like doing reviews. Anyway, uh, what else do we have in here? There's uh, an umbilical cord, and this one attaches to the backpack. The other end of it, and my gosh, this thing is just is as heavy as a battery pack. Uh, this is the charger. And you see here, it lists up to four devices that it can charge. Uh, there are only three that are held in this backpack. So it'll tell you when it's charging each one as it cycles through and it gives you a status. There's an indication of the status. So this is really cool because instead of using your regular charger and charging one battery at a time. This still only does one battery at a time, but it sequences through the batteries. So you don't have to swap out batteries. You just leave them in the backpack and it'll charge all three batteries in your backpack over time. The other device, this is the unit that's going to attach to the device that you want to run. It's fairly lightweight, although it does look like a 6 amp 40 volt battery. Has a clip on so you can put it on your belt while you're transporting it and your backpack. And this too is tethered. This one's actually connected to the backpack. So let's move these two out of the way and show you the backpack. The backpack itself is very light. It comes with a carrying handle. We lift that up and as you see it's tethered to the unit that will supply power to your device. And it has a shoulder harness and a chest harness. So it's pretty much like you would find on a commercial grade type um, gas blower where you have some strong harness and this looks and feels very nice. It's padded. Got some straps to make adjustments on it. And you can, if you wanted to, separate the pack, the harness pack, from the battery pack. Although, I don't know why one would need to do that. But, now let's put this on its side. To open the backpack, move the handle out of the way, pull on the tab, it opens up. And this allows you to remove the battery pack from the harness. We really don't want to do that. 
So we're gonna leave that in place to open up the case for the battery pack. We pop a handle, there's one on this side. We lift open. There's a little bar here, so it holds it open for you. And now you can slide in your batteries. Like I said, this only came with two. I have a Ryobi 40 volt mower, so that would actually give me three, maximize my runtime, whatever that magic number is, because I don't know. They don't state one, which is probably better because their numbers tend to be on the very high side. To charge the unit, you simply plug it into a 120 outlet. You'll have four red lights. You come to the end of the extension. This side up actually means to the left as the unit is laying down. You remove the port cover. You slide in and squeeze the two pins on either side so that it locks in and you push. Once the connection is made, you'll start getting an indication that it is charging. And again, it only charges one battery at a time. So it'll go through, charge that, then go to the next one and continue on as many batteries as are in the backpack. In this case, we only have two, but you could put in a max of three. What this also means is that you can take your other Ryobi 40 volt batteries and throw them into this pack and just let it cycle through and charge all of your batteries for you without you having to sit there and swap them out. Here's the battery that comes with the unit. I've taken the liberty of charging it up. It only had one indication when it arrived. And then you just slide it into position and it locks in. Here's the second one that came. I've also pre-charged that, slide it in, and it doesn't matter, you know, the order. You can go this way, you can skip one in the middle, because the unit will just go to the battery that has the most power and use that until it runs out, then it'll automatically switch over. So when you're working, it's going to be transparent to you as it switches from one to the other. And again, you can put a total of three in here and the integrated charger will actually work with four, but in this case, this unit does not take four. And then when we're done putting the batteries in, all you do is lift the spring here so that it can close. Close the unit, it's latched, and then you just put on your harness, adjust it to your size, and you're ready to uh, go. But isn't there more in the box? You bet there is. We have the actual blower itself. Let's see, here's the nozzle. And the nozzle is a multi-piece. You have this, which is sort of like a concentrator to give you more velocity and plastic tube. This one's plastic with a rubber type cone to it. The two batteries that were in here, we took those out so that we could charge them earlier. And then you have the actual blower. And this is where you would put in your battery pack or that unit there so that you're running off the backpack. Controls on this, it's trigger, variable speed trigger. You have what they call a turbo boost, so if you push that, it's gonna give it some more power. This is a lock so that you can set it so that it's in a constant running mode. And if you release it all the way out, it turns off and it's variable to some degree, so kind of a cruise control for the leaf blower. Other than that, there are no controls on this. And I'm looking to see if there's a way to harness it, but I'm not seeing one. Hopefully, uh, this is fairly lightweight, so I can't see this being actually very front heavy. It's very neutral feeling right now. 
nice grip on the handle, molded plastic. Battery's gonna counterbalance a little bit. If you go with that unit, it'll be less of a counterbalance because it's much lighter. We assemble the nozzle, take the soft end. There are two little mounts on here. There's a clip on the soft end. You just put it over the tip of the nozzle and that looks like it locks in. And we have another one. And this one's gonna go down because the actual blower comes in and mates to that. And if you see here, it locks into place. And now we're ready either to throw a battery on here or of course use our really cool backpack. And we just slide it in. There's the click. And because the cruise control was left in position, it'll automatically come on. So there's a word of caution. Make sure this is all the way up when you finally are done with the unit so that you don't get a surprise of it coming on. I will hand it to Ryobi. Boy, do they build an elaborate suspension system. So there's a strap up here that controls uh, how closer the unit is to your back. I like the unit right up against me, so I really had to pull tight on that, which kind of bunches this a little bit. Shoulder, harness, you can clip things onto the shoulder harness. There is a clip here that goes for your chest. Further down, there is an adjustment for this harness, right, for the chest harness. Then below that, there's padding for your hip waist area. That's adjustable. There's a clip here. You can adjust it on both ends of that clip. And then you have another waist padding, which is really nice. You can hang something off of here, probably the cable to get that out of the way. Again, there is a belt clip on here while you're transporting if it's not plugged into your device. So you're gonna have to check all these adjustments. There are also adjust more adjustments for the harness back to the battery pack. So again, I like it tight, I don't want it loose, but you may want it a little bit more loose. They include a pocket here, and short of just putting your manual in here, they say you can put in like a smartphone or a calculator. Why you need a calculator when you're blowing leaves, I don't know. But I think anything you put in here is one, gonna get hot and wet from your back as it perspires. And two, it's probably gonna be a bit uncomfortable. So the storage here is kind of silly. Um, but overall, a very nice elaborate harnessing system that's included with the kit. With backpack harnessed to my body, I pick up my blower and note that uh, you can't just walk away from the blower because you're tethered to it. So you'll end up dragging it. Um, bit of a nuisance, but let's see how this thing really works. It's fairly powerful, and it's actually fairly quiet. Um, I have ear protection. I don't have it on at the moment because uh, I thought for sure I'd need it, but I was gonna just give it a chance because it says it's whisper. And it's not whisper, but it's not loud enough that I need ear protection on. So uh, that's pretty impressive because I have an electric plug-in one that's very loud and you wouldn't use it without ear protection. So we're going to continue cleaning out the garage and I'll give you uh, my feelings on this tool.
I do notice that if you kick on the turbo as it drives up, there's a pull to the rear. Uh, there's also just a bit of centrifugal force or uh, gyroscopic force, I guess is what I should call it, when you're operating the tool. It's not a nuisance, it's just different. While not as powerful as my gas blower, it definitely can get into tighter areas because one, the backpack is smaller, and two, it's just a more flexible tool to work with. After using the unit for about 20 minutes, we come to the back and it will give you a battery status update. And it shows that both batteries are still at 100%. So it seems that this unit is pretty frugal when it comes to battery usage, although it doesn't blow a lot. And what I mean is it's not like a gas blower. It doesn't have that intensity, but for moving leaves and dirt and just loose stuff, it's fine. My gas blower will blow rocks and pieces of asphalt, but you really don't need that kind of power if all you're doing is just regular yard maintenance. Uh, things that I don't like about this unit, one, the trigger is always hot, so there's no on and off switch. Two, if you leave the cruise control in a position, and then it's just going to be there unless you return it to its off position or you de-energize the unit. Again, I wish they would have thrown in an on and off switch. The turbo function is nice. Uh, it has to be used in conjunction with the trigger. It doesn't work independently. And you will feel some thrust as the machine jerks back as it has gets more intensity or as the blower spins more. You can feel that reaction to it. Um, it's just different than other blowers. Something you just get used to, I would imagine. So, I have a plug-in blower, I have a gas blower, and I have this backpack blower. Which one am I going to keep? Well, I'm actually going to keep all three of them. What I like about this one is that you can use it also as a vacuum, so it will shred leaves for you. It's not a great leaf shredder, but it shreds leaves. Uh, and it has an on and off button with two different power positions. I kind of like that. Balance on this is terrible. This bad boy is powerful, fairly quiet. By the way, none of these are as quiet as the Ryobi. So Ryobi gets that, hats off. This can be very powerful. You can blow rocks, pieces of asphalt with it. It's just intense. Uh, of course, you have to fire it up. And once it's going, it's always going until you've done for the day and you turn it off whereas with either one of these you just release the trigger and you're done well in this case you release the trigger on that one you have to actually flip a switch but that's really nice because you're not just running the unit idly by as, you, as you're walking from one place to the other so that's a really nice function what i don't like about this unit is the tether is kind of thick so it's a little cumbersome and if you want to switch sides, uh, it's sort of like the gas blower in that the gas blower is just a dedicated side. You're always going to be blowing from the right hand side. This one you can switch, but again, it's because of the thickness of the wire, you have to swing this unit behind the backpack and catch it on the other side. Uh, the backpack is heavy, as heavy as probably this unit, although. I like the suspension system on this unit better. Uh, this has a much better harness system, but just the way the weight hangs on this, this one feels more comfortable, especially on the hips where this one just never quite felt right. And maybe it's because it's narrower and this one spreads the weight more. So in reality, uh, I'm going to keep all three of them. Uh, I, I like the fact that this is just instant on and off. it You can throw three batteries in there and get extremely long times. Uh, and for my property, uh, I could probably get by with just slapping a battery on here. 
and just using the performer. So this, you, I definitely would just slap a battery on here to clean out the garage with it. But uh, an impressive tool overall. And, you know, it doesn't need a bunch of cumbersome uh, attachments. There's uh, another cone that you could put on here to concentrate it even more. And again, it's uh, not as much air passing through it, but for what it's being asked to do, it's plenty. And, and the battery pack is cool in that you can just leave the batteries in there. It'll recharge them automatically once you plug in the charger into it. And uh, you're just always ready to go. Or you can pop the batteries out and use them on your other Ryobi devices. If you found this video interesting or useful, give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment. Join the subscription team. And as always, thank you ever so much for watching. Yeah.